One of the things I get asked about on the campaign trail all the time is what is government doing and who holds government accountable? And we've certainly seen that recently in the impeachment inquiry that's going on in Congress. Government is there elected to serve people and they need to be accountable to the people they serve. One way to hold government accountable is at election time to throw people out of office if you don't think they're doing their job. But more importantly, we need to be using the reports from the inspector generals, the attorney generals, and we need to hold government accountable for the things that it does. This also means holding our Congress people and our senators accountable, as well as our president. One of my favorite senators was Senator Tom Coburn, who is no longer uh, in the Senate. He's a senator from Oklahoma, and a main focus and issue that he had was government corruption. And he was looking at how government spent money, how government misspent money, where it was misallocated and really going through inspector general's reports to find out was the money uh, expended as authorized to be expended and I think I want to be that type of government watchdog I've been uh, given reports of people who have said money went out the door but yet nothing ever happened we're all familiar with the big dig in Boston we're familiar with bridges to nowhere, and we're familiar with fast trains in California. But this is an area that to me is especially important given how much taxation is currently, and also, especially considering the tax burden for, for younger people and the millennials, I think looking at government uh, corruption, taxation, how our money is spent is, is an area of which I would really like to focus. Well, there was recently a report about uh, Medicare fraud, and given that I'm in the healthcare arena, both uh, academic medicine, private practice within the VA institution, both in nursing and uh, as a um, physician, what happens with Medicare fraud or Medicaid fraud is something that I'm very interested in. And given my background and knowledge, I think I'll be able to assess things with a little bit more expertise than other uh, people that are elected uh, to serve in our legislature. That's one area I think where there's fraud and abuse that we really need to delve into, but also in all of government contracts, how money is spent as we've discussed earlier, uh, is an area that I'm especially focused and tuned into. There are experts who have done this, our own Senator Grassley has done this, and as I said, having contacts with Senator Tom Coburn, being able to have him help to guide and mentor me in those areas I think will allow me to have um, a really a foot in the door when I start in uh, Congress. Holding unelected bureaucrats accountable is extraordinarily difficult. It really depends upon who the president appoints as a head of an organization or a head of a department, and for them to be able to uh, know that they need to look through the staff uh, of an uh, institution, of a department. I certainly experienced that when I was the director of the Department of Public Health. But it's even more than that. You have performance standards for your employees, you can guide and mentor your employees, and we know that the culture starts at the top. So if you uh, conduct yourself with integrity, with honesty, you convey that to the people that work with you, I think that you're more likely to see that culture replicated throughout an organization or an institution. In Congress, we have the Office of Congressional Ethics, and that's to look at us and help us to police ourselves, but also to have our peers police us. And that needs to happen with, uh, within departments. When I was in the military, we have performance reviews and evaluations, and these are things that certainly should come up in those performance reviews and evaluations, so that we know that the people that are working for us at the federal level are held to the highest standards possible.